Uh, this next story sounds like it is right out of a plot of a movie. A man stranded in the Alaskan wilderness, but he's not alone. He says he was attacked by a bear, and that bear kept coming back to his camp every night for an entire week straight to harass him, to terrorize him until he was rescued finally by the Coast Guard. This is what the air crew with the Coast Guard, the air station Kodiak saw while they were flying over last week on top of one of those shacks was an SOS sign. And after circling, then they saw a man who was waving two hands in the air looking for some help. This all happened at a mining camp near Nome, Alaska last Friday. That crew landed, they rescued that guy, and tonight we're joined by Lieutenant Commander Jared Carbajal. He was one of the pilots from the air station Kodiak and crew. Sir, thank you so much for being with us tonight. What a story you must have to tell. Oh, thanks, Marty. Thanks for, uh, thanks for having me on. So, so tell us when you're, you're flying above, you see these shacks, the doors are thrown to the side. It looks like a mess. You see this guy. What did you think was going on? Well, actually, we were flying through the area. Uh, we didn't really, we weren't looking for anybody. Uh, we we're repositioning to Nome for a science mission, actually, one of the missions we do up here in the Arctic. And uh, my co-pilot said that, uh, hey, there's someone down there and he's waving at us. Uh, there were a couple mines, mining sites in the area, a couple cabins, so we didn't think too much of it um, until he clarified that he was waving with uh, two hands, two hands over his head. So we circled back around. We'd already flown past it. We circled back around to see what was going on. It's usually a sign of distress, and um, we're glad we did because uh, you're looking at the pictures of, of what we saw when we got on scene. So we landed right nearby and uh, got out to offer some assistance. So... You encounter this guy, what does he tell you is going on? Well, uh, we landed and then my uh, rescue swimmer, AST-1, Adam Carr, as well as my flight mechanic, uh, AET-2, Jeremy Reed, uh, got out and ran over to him. Um, we didn't really know what to expect or what the situation was. Uh, and then he, he told us that basically he'd been attacked by a bear and uh, hadn't slept in days and that the bear kept returning, um, which uh, was interesting. And uh, so we just took him on board, said, well, let's get out of here. So we, uh, we grabbed him and, and took him on board and uh, we were able to get him to know him for, uh, for some help. So this bear essentially was stalking him. Did, did it attack him? Did he have injuries? Well, we actually just found out this morning. We did, there was, everything happened so quick. It was only 15 minutes to know him. And um, our rescue swimmer was very concerned about obviously assessing the situation. So there wasn't too much talking going on. We are just trying to assess him for any other injuries or hidden injuries that we may not have seen. Um, but we found out today, uh, we heard that he was driving his ATV, uh, his four-wheeler to his cabin, and the bear uh, actually, according to, to use his words, pounced him, pounced on him while he was uh, on his ATV and rolled him over. And uh, he fired a couple shots, which scared the bear away enough to get to his cabin. So it sounds like uh, after that, the bear returned multiple times and he pretty much was confined to his cabin until he heard us fly over. This is a really remote area. What is this guy doing out there? Uh, I believe he was mining. Uh, he's been coming to the area for many years, it sounds like. And uh, there's a lot of um, prospecting, a lot of mining going on in the area. So I think he was, uh, he was out doing some mining. Well, I know in your line of work, I'm sure you see some pretty wild things. Um, anything compared to a story like this? You know, this is the first time that I've been flagged down. Uh, we've, usually when we're getting out, launched on a case, we know of distress or suspected distress. So, yeah, this is definitely the first time for me and my entire crew that any of us have been uh, waved down by somebody. So we're happy to be in the area and glad, glad for a uh, great ending. Well, may have saved his, his life if that bear kept coming back for him. A better ending than that Leonardo DiCaprio movie um, where it did not fare so well. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Jared Carbajal, uh, thanks to you and your crew for being alert and, uh, and reacting to that SOS. No problem. Happy to help. Thanks for uh, covering our story up here in the Arctic.